welcome back to Green Hill Gaming, where I share my passion of video games with the whole wide world. In this live stream, I will be playing Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I'll be discussing how this beautiful game went from PS1 to PS4. So sit back, relax, stay safe. But more importantly, enjoy the live stream. So let's continue Cloud Stripe's fantastic adventure. Now this is pretty handy. It's a handy little catch up. So on the 21, 21 and the 21st of April today and how do you do to my lovely viewer welcome to Green Hill Gaming in this live stream I am continuing my adventures in Final Fantasy 7 Remake and I'll be discussing how this game PS1 to PS4 so get yourself comfortable relax and enjoy the live stream so this is not it's a little thing it's the little things. I like this little, little thing. So it tells you exactly where you are. Chapter 1. So this is where I left off in the previous live stream. Chapter 1. The destruction of Macro Reactor 1. Macro Reactor 1. Reactor core, bottom level, main bridge. Resume playing from where you left off. I would like to do that. Thank you. Um, you know, so considering that the theme of this live stream is discussing how Final Fantasy 7 as went from PS1 to PS4 I should point out that this right here is a brand new feature uh, to the remake that was not in the original PS1 version. This nice little uh, catch-up feature letting you know you know where you left off, you know, where you were, what you were doing, um, the exact time and everything. Uh, um, in the original PS1 version you just saved your progress. Um, and you basically loaded your, your save file and you picked up where you left off but um, in the remake on PS4 you've got this brand new feature um, telling you what you were doing the last time you played where you were so it's a little thing but uh, you know it's the little things that matter so I will resume playing from where I left off Adding, adding to that, I bet you know it won't even give you the option to read all that. I bet you won't say press X to continue. I won't even bother reading it because, yeah, I knew it. I don't read that fast. Nonetheless, the uh, the macro reactor is uh, is is gonna blow in less than 20 minutes, so I better get the hell out of here. I, I chose 20 minutes as opposed to 30 minutes because I wanted to be uh, I wanted to be uh, show off you know. it's gotta be a show off when you're uh, when you play the original concentrate I play the original I hope so skill is there uh though. not bad Now to escape Macro Reactor 1. So, visually, a lot has changed from the original PS1 version of Final Fantasy 7 and the PS4 version. Do I look okay? Help a girl out, would you? So this is the moment here where Jetty gets her leg caught on the rock. Hey! We'll link up over there! Look Need after Jesse! So you can just see visually 
Some of which way. that scene has been improved uh, from the PS1 version Probably. to the PS4 version. We all know, we're all used to it. I've played Final Fantasy VII so many times over the years. I've replayed this scene so many times, um, and it's never looked better on PS4. You know, thanks to the uh, amazing hardware of PS4, um, scenes like this are brought to life uh, like never before. So, uh, another fine example of how this amazing classic Final Fantasy VII has, has come from PS1 to PS4, the, the many changes that it's, uh, that it's went through. You know, so obviously, video game technology has come a long way from PS1 to PS4. Uh, Sony, as a company, have come a massive, massive uh, long way from PS1 to PS4 in terms of you know what they can do spec-wise on their on their consoles, on their PlayStation consoles. Um, PlayStation games uh, look a lot better on PS4 compared to PS1, to say the very least. Um, obviously, the, the entire video game landscape has has come a long way from PS1 to PS4 in terms of how games are played, in terms of the kind of people that play them. Find us the way out of here. But then, and you can see that. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Right. I've got soldier boy with me. <laughs> X, soldier boy. And um, obviously the They're final here. fantasy Take series in general has come along with this one. The clock's in the game. Cool. Right Five there. seconds is all So no longer are you playing, you know, uh, turn based <laughs> combat. It's all action combat. You can still input commands. Like, right now. Use a fire attack on this mono drive here. Huh? Time to burn. And it's completely missed. Uh, um, Barrett, you, you can take care of them. Okay, you can't take care of them. not yeah. cool yet. Um, the music. The soundtrack of Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, that spoke about in my previous live stream has, has come a long, long way from PS1 to PS4. You got that right. You can actually um, give uh, Barrett commands, or you can take the control of it. So this, this ties into how the gameplay of Final Fantasy VII has changed and come a long way and improved from the PS1 to the PS4. So you're taking direct control over your characters you now. So when they're pressured, you can use uh, moves like fire to no hopefully topple them. That was nothing. But I have to open that treasure chest. I don't have to, but I want to. You know, try to die. Just want it. Do one little thing. And that one little thing has been done, okay.
and at the end of the live stream I'll have a recap of all the improvements of Final Fantasy 7 from PS1 to PS4. So I don't want to repeat myself too much in the live stream, so I had that recap at the end of the live stream, so I don't know that. Hello. How do you do, James? Oh, I'm delighted that you uh, checked out my late night live stream. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, James. Really do appreciate that. Thank you so much, James. Hope you're keeping well. I know it's late. So glad, man, you could you could drop by the live stream. Man. Uh, so right now we are escaping Mako Reactor Number One. And uh, I have less than uh, oh, just over 13 minutes to get out of here. A little bit under pressure, and I'm actually a little bit lost too. <laughs> Let's see what If I staggered him, so now I'm gonna hopefully stop with him. Yeah. Hey, did you see me in action? That's the missile I did. I don't know what I'm going to do. Got my first last. Number's gone up. Out of my way. Two good fire at him. Burn. You don't look so good. Take care of those wounds before you bleed out. I wonder if anyone will join the live stream. I usually with my late night live streams, it's kind of uh well really with all my live streams, it's hit and miss really again. Uh, but the most important thing is that I just continue sharing my passion and my video games in the world and let people join if they want. Just click on bit. You know what, Barrett? I'm sorry. This might hurt! You might hurt! Good enough! I'm out of rest! Happy 2 subs! <laughs> Thank you! Please get back in. On the road to 300. Getting there. Getting there. Changing my lock on. Sorry, this is the this is the path of my life. They might go a little bit quiet and a little, get a little bit discombobulated. Like, the best of my ability, so my apologies about that game. Sweaty gamer mode, lol. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much, yes. We got 11 minutes to get the hell out of here. Well, I can use fire at this point, I think. Need a light. Hey, did you see me in action? Must have missed it. Remember me, Barrett? <laughs> Must have missed it, I love that. I think we're almost there, pretty much. Hey, come on. 
on Frank. So yeah, again, apologies, uh, Jane. Um, when, when I'm trying to concentrate and focus, um, I go a little bit quiet and my vocabulary goes a little bit discombobulated, but we did it. For so whatever reason, it's, it's time, there's a time lapse there. I went from 10 minutes to like 2 seconds. And the shin wreck operation. What age rang is this game Sir. for? Um, I will, t it's 16s, 16 plus, I think. Shinra Corporation watching everything. So the Shinra Corporation are responsible for the macro reactor that is draining the life force of the planet to create macro energy. And that avalanche is pretty much like extinction rebellion. They're trying to save the planet and to take down the Shinra Corporation blow up their come reactors on, come on, come on, come the on. because they're draining the planet's <clears throat> life source. Cloud couldn't get two shits right now. <laughs> Cloud is here to collect his paycheck. And he's a mercenary. He used to work for Soldier. Soldier used to be a part of the operation. I know I spoke about this in the previous live stream about the Bible. I say that I have a habit of repeating myself in life in, in, life in general, to be honest with you. And uh, James, the theme of this live stream um, is basically discussing um, all the changes that Final Fantasy VII has went through from PS1 to PS4. And at the end of the live stream, I'll have a recap on all those changes. I don't want to repeat myself too much. Do you get the day earlier from earlier again? <laughs> Um, yeah, she will make an appearance. Walk. If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. Now this may tie in with I'll take that as a how yes. the visuals of Final Fantasy VII have improved dramatically. Yes, <laughs> sure, but I want to discuss um, the story, the storytelling, and how the storytelling has. Okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> vastly All right, come on. That really comes to life uh, from PS1 to PS4. And that's all thanks to, again, the hardware of PS4. I mean, just look at this. You may have been watching uh, an anime movie, like a high quality CGI movie, but particularly anime. This is movie quality right here. Does Jesse like Cloud? Um, I think so, actually. I think so. Um, I'm not even going to bother reading this because games never give you enough time to read um, or unless you have the option to take your time and read it. But other than that, they don't. Looks like we made it. Chapter 2, Fateful and Encompass. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it? I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the plan is what matters, right? <laughs> I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right then, lead the way. You got it. Huh. Lead away a wedge. Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. Ugh. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. There was no voice acting in the original yeah, PlayStation 1 version. That? I've never smelled anything so foul. A Final Fantasy VII. Oh, it's me. Gotta do something. MRT about that. sounds so like big smoke. <laughs> a little bit. He does actually. He does actually a little bit. So yeah, in the original version uh, of Final Fantasy VII on PS One, there was no voice acting. Uh, so no, you know the um, so one of the major changes from PS One to PS Four 
is um, the voice acting. And what that does is, again, it adds to the, the storytelling that I discussed um, a moment ago. Um, because every character now has um, a fully supported voice actor, they've got a voice now, you can hear them speak, it adds to their personality. So their personality um, really shines through more um, in the remake um, on the PS4 version compared to the, compared to the PS1 version. So again, uh, just a point though, um, there's going to be a team um, in each of my Final Fantasy VII Remake live streams. And the team in this live stream is discussing all the improvements, changes, um, enhancements um, from the original PS1 version to... Uh, the PS4 version. That's the team. Of the I PS4. felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. Would you have to play the first few to get the story? Um, absolutely uh, not. I presume you mean like, I presume you mean like previous Final Fantasy games, James. Is that what you mean? Are you asking me, do you have to play previous Final Fantasy games um, in the series to get the story? Is that, is that the question? I want to know what the question is before I answer it. Yeah. Just so I'm clear. Okay. Uh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, every Final Fantasy game in the series, with the exception, Wedge, I'm gonna have to interrupt you, no Wedge. Um, with the exception of Final Hi Fantasy man. Ten Two and Final Fantasy Thirteen, you, Damien Body, welcome to Green Hill Gaming. Finally, got my hands on Final Fantasy Seven Remake. Came in the post today. I was absolutely delighted. Uh, so you're welcome, very welcome, to my Final Fantasy VII Remake live stream. And the team of this live stream is discussing Hi, all the improvements uh, that have, that have um, everything has changed from the PS1 version to the PS4 version. So from PS1 to PS4. So it's great to have you in the live stream, Damien. How are you keeping? Hope that you're keeping safe and well as always. Sit back, get yourself comfortable and enjoy. The Place is in. Stand back then. I'll set the bomb. Uh, so, so, so no, James is there. Hi, James. How's you, things? Marvin. Can't wait to take a hot shower. Uh, so, so Final Fantasy X-2 and Final Fantasy XIII are the only Final Fantasy games in the series that are actually continued. Every other Final Fantasy game has their has its own standalone story. There's no connection to any of them. So you basically you don't have to play Final Fantasy VI or five or four. I'm or okay, three, man. Two, How are you, Johnny? Glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. I'm, uh, I'm keeping safe and well in there, thankfully. Uh, and I'm, I'm doing quite good. I'm doing quite good now. Thank, thanks for asking, man. And I'm glad to hear that you're keeping well as well, man. I'm just delighted that I finally get to play the remake of Final Fantasy VII. But uh, yeah, man, all, all good now, I have to say. All good. She's good to go. And again, man, thanks for asking. And I'm glad that you're keeping well as well. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole, Jesse. You sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything here. that gets in my way. So you can just tell there what the voice acting um, does and how it adds to the storytelling and how it just gives every character uh, such a stronger personality from the original PS1 version. Um, you know, so the PS1 version, you know, had a uh, text uh, dialogue, and the PS4 version has fully fledged voice acting that just brings these characters or personalities to life in a whole, uh, lot, whole lot more compared to the PS1 version. So again, that's the team discussing uh, from PS1 to PS4 how so many um, elements of Final Fantasy VII have been changed, altered, and improved. Attention, all citizens! Attention, all citizens! This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Music. There's gonna be some weird hint I made about this game. 
<laughs> there probably is already, trust me. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fire. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors one. Oh, the music, I'm loving the soundtrack. Tiffany. Rendering the entire <laughs> sector hazardous. Therefore, all this is the No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? Sorry, I have to pause as the soundtrack just uh stays so true to the original PS1 version. However, um, it's vastly improved. It's uh, it feels so modern and up to date. But I discussed this in the previous live stream. But it, it's it's so familiar. Like it is the music that you are familiar with that you can recognize the soundtrack. But it is just so modern at the same time. It's I love it. I just love the soundtrack. I know this music so well, and it's giving me goosebumps just but listening to it. What if it, it was? It. What's done is done. <laughs> Merck's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor, and the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah, we always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you that. may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fears. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh. Hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We you picked the wrong home. house, fool. <laughs> oh, James, you should have seen my Xbox stream. Series XXXL. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> I seen that yesterday on IGN. Oh, man, fair fox to IGN for, for doing that. Firefox, man, that was ballsy, ballsy as fuck of IGN. Uh, a parody like <laughs> Xbox Series XXXL. What, the, what were they like? They were like, it's massive as fuck or something. Oh, this is a fucking But, uh, James, you should have seen my, uh, my live stream of the Final Fantasy VII port, uh, um, based off the PS1 version, where um, I was naming Mr. T, but I put in an extra T instead, so it says Mr. TT. That's so funny. Bro, I fell for it. I almost did, to be honest with you. Because, I mean, it came from IGN, and I was like... I thought it was another... Like, I thought it was like another... Um, I thought it was like a second model of the Xbox Series X, you know? Because you don't know a whole lot about the Xbox Series X yet, right? So I thought it was just another model. But then once I watched it, I just realized there was a parody. But I almost fell for it, too. It was priceless. We'll split up and shoot for the last train home. Regrouping the freight car. Got it. So there's so much more. You, you sense such, so much more passion, um, out of um, and, and believability out of uh, Barrett's character and the remake. You know because of the voice acting, because you can hear what he's saying and you can just hear the passion um, in his voice um, that you just would not have um, experienced. From the PS1 version, so from PS1 to PS4, um, the the believability and, and passion in, in the words that come out of the characters' mouths um, is just just heavily improved from PS1 to PS4. Later then. Hey, I'd like my money now. You can have it once we're back at. Base. Barrett, I oh, want my goddamn money. Don't let, don't let me get Stewie Griffin after you. He will collect that money. <laughs> so we're actually in uh, we're actually in the slums, I think. If I know my Final Fantasy VII, we're in the city of Midgar. I want to point out something that I 
have pointed out a few times, I actually have not completed the original Final Which Fantasy Which one is game. the best Final Fantasy? Oof. Oh God. Ten, for me. Ten. Love that game. So if I think too much about it, I, I would just argue with myself, to be honest with you. Yeah. But I, I would say ten. And oddly enough, talk. actually, uh, sorry, I keep pausing this, I know I do. Uh, there's actually a connection between Final Fantasy um, 10 and 7, but it's not like extremely canon or anything like that. Like, but there is a connection. I won't talk about it, no. But there is a connection. What this is, right? That is materia. Of course not. It's healing materia. You I'm can have it material. for saving my life. Just doing my job. Nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. Survival. Why, sorry, 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 sorry. Why do anime characters, like Japanese video game characters, Japanese movie cartoon characters, why do they always seem to have like heartburn or indigestion or something? Like, oh, it's like no matter what you say to them, like, how was your day? <laughs> Jesus Christ, like. A matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. It doesn't make more strange as grunts like. Uh, yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? Ha! Uh -huh. Could come back, I could hope. Oh god. Well, considering Mr. Remake, I suppose I better um, begin the tutorial. Let's hope it doesn't take too long. This is a tutorial on materia and equipment. Um, you can now set materia to your weapons and armor. Try setting the healing materia to your buster sword. Okay, let's begin the tutorial. You can set materia to weapons and armor to materia and equipment. Um, press triangle to set the materia. The slots in the top row are for your weapon and the bottom for your armor. Select an empty materia slot and press X. Select the healing materia from the list and press X. So healing materia allows you to cure. Self-explanatory. The materia is now set. Well, thankfully that ends the tutorial. I thought it was going to be a big massive tutorial there for a second. Thanks a lot for that. Materia set to your equipment allows you to use new spells and abilities and also boost your stats. Find the combination that works best uh, for your battle strategy. The cure is pretty handy. Okay, so it's set now, okay. Okay, I was only trying to help. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something extra for being so brave. That really was the ride of a lifetime. Well, see you on the train. Jesse, he's here. I think I have portions. So right now I need to reach uh, sector 8. But uh, Jesus, this is... Um, I've seen Midgar City looking so amazing. It's just a dream. Just a fair dream. You need something to you. Oh, the plates uh, basically hold up uh, uh, the various levels of uh, Midgar. Which we'll find out about sooner. Man, this is like Resident Evil 3 all over again. I'm actually going to do some exploration. Always vital to explore. I don't know. Well, my sleep schedule is fact. Oh, I know. I'm sorry, James. For these late night live streams. That's why I really appreciate you, man, dropping by your live stream, James, because I know it's late for you. <laughs> Damien is used to the late night live streams, aren't you? <laughs> so I'm just doing a little bit of a... Uh, a sure how bad though. Exactly, how bad, sure. How bad. I'm just doing a little bit of backpacking here because uh, there could be a couple of um, hidden treasure chests or things like that. Seeing as it is a Final Fantasy game after all. It's not an open world game or anything like that. It's not like Final Fantasy 15 or anything like that, so... It won't be that open world. 
But nonetheless, it is a pretty big, um, big area, big city. Oh, so I don't know. That's great. I don't know. I don't have the answers. Place questions. I guess. Like, Exactly because I rarely sleep. Emoji happy tears. <laughs> I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that Damon is a night, a night owl. <laughs> there are avalanche saving the planet or they contributing in its destruction. Because technically, if avalanche didn't go into the reactor and set up bomb, then none of this would have happened. So you do have to ask the question, are Avalanche the heroes here, or are they actually aiding the villains? This poor guy, you know? The latest I have stayed up is 7, but that was because I had 3 coffees. There is to stay up. I mean, 7 a.m. <laughs> Obviously, don't mean 7 p.m. Uh, the most for me was literally just a whole day. 7 in the morning. <laughs> okay. Damn. For me, it was just a whole day, really. My friend, it was my friend's um, 18th. And um, we just had, we just, we literally just, we didn't even go to sleep. Yet. We'll never catch our train now. There has to be another way. Wow, up here! Look up! I said look up! Careful up here. This could collapse at any moment. If you want up, you'll have to use those stairs. Well, I'm a lazy fucker. Uh, aren't we all? I saw him lives on one of the streets down there. Is there a shelter around? Oh, this is pretty deep, isn't it? I don't see this. Uh, Can you hear me? Where's that stretcher? So I think the thing I want to take away from this live stream. So not only is there going to be a team in every one of my Final Fantasy VII remake live streams, but there's also going to be something that I'm going to take away from the remake that I really want to highlight. And discuss, and I think it's going to be. Well, I have a conversation. If you really want to get to the station, you can always climb those stairs. Try picking your way across the rock. Thank you. So, because of next generation hardware, PS4 hardware, and the overall storytelling of Final Fantasy VII has come to life in in, in so many ways. That you just is there gonna be a stream tomorrow? There will indeed. There will indeed. So you can just see, like, you know, the, the, the Mako uh, reactor has exploded and it's had um, a disastrous effect on citizens of Midgar. And you can see. It's okay. You're safe now. Got a you can see the, uh, the medics, you know, attending to civilians. You can see the destruction. You can see the panic and fear. And that's made possible because of PS4 hardware. So from PS1 to PS4, uh, storytelling is just um, really, really improved. Um, and again, uh, you know, add that to the voice acting and uh, the obvious uh, improvements in visuals as well um, adds to that too. What a view. I mean like it's 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 a view of panic, fear and distress, but nonetheless what a view. I think this music should play every time that the 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 the, the, uh, the head of the HAC steps into a room. Dr. Tony Lulian. Today we'd like to announce, unfortunately, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm, gonna, I don't, I'm not making a joke at the moment. Funny about coronavirus. 
what's behind me. Shinra Electric Power. So once again, the Shinra Corporation are draining the planet's life force and uh, turning it into um, electric power called Mako Energy. And Avalanche are not standing for that because Avalanche are like, okay, this is the planet's life force. You drain the planet's life force, the planet will die. Avalanche having none of it. So that's why they're going after Shinra. That's why they're destroying their reactors save the planet and um, cloud strife right now in the story he doesn't give two shits about the planet or avalanche he's in it for the money right now he's a mercenary but the deeper he gets into the, uh, the story the deeper he uh, the more he discovers and um, he's going to learn that you know there's a lot more at stake here um, than, than he thinks and he's going to have to work with the likes of barrett and avalanche me. Of course I sure the guys in and, uh, and, and also Cloud Strife used to be working with Shinra as a, a soldier, as their highly skilled military. So Shinra are a lot more than just uh, an electrical company. It's funny actually because Shinra is very like the Umbrella Corporation uh, in Resident Evil. Uh, just about, I'm not walking into there. Is the game just you destroying generators? <laughs> you know what? That's actually a valid question. That is a valid question. It really is. Uh, no, no. You'll be happy to know, no. But uh, the opening, <laughs> the opening um, moments of the game is avalanche destroying reactors. Yes. But I think there's nearly two reactors you destroy until the story goes in a different direction. <laughs> I'm tired of activating generators in games, so it feels good to actually destroy them. I was getting some sort of a flashback there. That could be a flashback. Or the Sephiroth. 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 How, how the fuck wants to pronounce his name? See, I never had to worry about pronouncing his name because I never heard his name in the original because there was no voice back. So I just, had to, I just had to read what I saw on the screen and just pronounce it. <laughs> whatever way I wanted to. Vietnam. Oh. Vietnam. He's actually here. <coughs> Except he couldn't be here. He's really here. He's getting a flashback. Except what is actually... Okay, this is something new. I actually like it, to be honest with you. Well, my, 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 my question too. He couldn't be. But then... I have to say, I like this. Oh, I think he's getting a flashback or something. Yeah, he's, he's getting a P um, post traumatic uh, stress in Vietnam. The hell? Who is that? That is uh, Sephiroth supposed to be the main villain of the game and he has a strong connection to Cloud. Wait. This is uh, this is brand new to the remake. This was not in the PS1 version so from PS1 to PS4. Is he his dad? No, not that it is. No, I mean, I don't think he is, no. Again, I want to point out that I actually didn't complete the original Final Fantasy VII. I didn't get very far into it, to be honest with you. It's a hard game, like, you really was. You're real. You're dead. I am. Um... I killed you with my own... <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. I don't know why... Maybe there's still a wrestling fan inside of me, but I'm just getting like Undertaker and Kane vibes here, like at WrestleMania 20. Where like uh, Kane thought he buried his brother, the Undertaker, in a buried live match. And then he came, came back like towards WrestleMania, and Kane is like, You're dead! You're dead! It can't be! I don't know. Sorry, I'm going to stop now. It was the crowning moment of our time together. 
But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. I know he wasn't there. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. Your hometown. So bright, the sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you, the shiver of her flesh yielding to cold steel. Jesus Christ, the deep in there. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry. It's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. Goosebumps. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. Yeah. You got this. Just a few. <laughs> Just a few. I really love it, man, because you have to get very far into the original PS1 version to actually like meet Sephiroth the first time. So I like the remake hose is right there to start. Take in the scenery here. The shrooms. <laughs> yeah. Shrooms. <laughs> ah, to be fair, like, gotta give Square Enix massive credit here, like, with the remake. Just sense the, the the dread. Do you know? Look at this. This no. could not be taught on PS1. Please, no. Not bashing PS1 on PS1 version. Just pointing out, uh, you know, from PS1 to PS4, um, how so much of Final Fantasy VII has been, you know, vastly improved. What's happening down there? The expressway was damaged sure, too? We could try the alley, but is getting to the station. It seems like a pure day sent looking game to be fair. It really is. I mean, I had my um concerns about the remake. I still have one of them to be honest with you, and it's the fact that the the game is being divided into multiple parts parts as in standalone games that you have to pay for um, that's something I, I'm still I, I don't agree with to be honest with you and a couple of uh, a couple of um, political statements that are made in the game as well certain agendas push down players thoughts DLC uh, that's the thing it's not even DLC man it's literally I'll tell you about the gun, James, and let, let me know what you think about this, because it's in, interesting, because you are a bystander here. You are somebody on the outside looking in. You haven't played the original Final Fantasy VII. You wouldn't be a, a massive fan of Final Fantasy. So you're exactly the kind of person uh, that I want uh, an opinion from. Not the die-hard, um, brainwashed um, fanboys, you know, who will defend Square Enix to hell and back. You're the exact person I want here. Um, to, to, to actually like uh, fucking have an opinion, and you as well, Damien, because I know you haven't you haven't 
played much of Final Fantasy either. So, you know, your opinion matters as well, Damien. Sorry, I didn't want to just like, you know, focus on James and, and leave you out of it. So everyone watching, you know, feel free to join in. But no diehard Final Fantasy fans are allowed here. So basically, this is the, this is the situation. There's a game called Final Fantasy VII. It released originally on PlayStation 1. The full version. There was no Final Fantasy VII 2. I'm not even going to mention the spin-offs because they don't matter. Um, the full game was released on three discs. That game went on to be remade. Final Fantasy VII Remake. However, you're not getting the full story. Square Enix are dividing the story into multiple parts that will act as standalone games that you have to pay a full price for for each um, version. So what do you think about that? What do you think about that? As 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 gamers who didn't play the original Final Fantasy VII wouldn't be a huge fan of the series. What do you think? Just so it's not DLC or anything like that. Um, because DLC would be would be adding to the story. The full story is not actually included in in this in this game. Like that. I'm sorry. You need to make a fight. No, you have to pay 60 euro for step for the second part of the story. It's terrible. I know that's worth it too. So I hope I explained well, that. Well, that is a feckin' load of shit. Are they actually doing this, or is it a maybe? Um, 100 percent. It's confirmed. Um, it's um, it's even on the back of the box. It's Square Enix are calling it the Final Fantasy VII Remake Project, and it's literally in the back of the box. This is the first part of the stand. This is the first standalone part of the Final Fantasies. I'll just get the back of the box. I'll get it for you. Many homes are at risk. I'm going to be taking up too much of the live stream here and talking about this. But yeah, uh, the story of this first standalone game in the Final Fantasy VII Remake project covers up to the party's escape from Midgar. So that's what you get. That's what you get again. And there's a lot more content after that, like that, that is not included in this. That will be included in multiple parts. That will be standalone games that will cost roughly like sixty euro. So that's 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 the main kind of like. The main kind of uh, my main concerns I, I, I had and still have really with, with the remake. I know it's not fair, it's terrible. <laughs> what do you think about this? Absolutely. What, what do you think about this thing? I repeat. Because to my knowledge, it's, it's the only Square Enix are the only developers that have done this with a remake. There's been so many remakes released over the years, and they give you the full version, no matter how long the game was. Nonetheless, it's a great game. Man, it's a great remake. What a mess. Avalanche caused this. I I played a part in this. Do what you like. I'm taking the kids to safety. Oh, we stay together. Yeah. Ten trip portions. I had to buy it though. I, I, I could not. I could not buy this game, you know? I'm just too much of a fan of Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy VII uh, not to buy the remake. Whether there's two versions or three versions. Whether you're playing as a granny or a tranny. Have you played a Metal Gear Solid game on the channel? I have, actually, a lot. Uh, I've played a lot of Metal Gear Solid 5. 
I, I'm way down. I did think it would just collapse. City Hall? I mean, not a mid game. That's the issue. Don't let the intruder escape. Security's everywhere. seeing things again. This isn't really happening. You are too weak to save anyone. <laughs> Not even yourself. Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? The day sent Bay earlier. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Here, this is for you. See a torture? Sure. Flower is a uh, flower. Need. That's right. It's a gift, you know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. How much? How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case, <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. What the hell is this supposed to mean? <sighs> Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just. She's blew. my girlfriend back at Cloud. <laughs> nah, she mine. Myself. <laughs> Help me. This is really interesting because this did not this is this did not happen in the, the original, but I like it again. What are they? <laughs> Drop your weapon! Are you blind? You know, you're right. Ariat went down that alleyway, but I'm going to do some exploring. Ariat is going to be grand. Does Cloud have a girlfriend? Uh, not that I know of. But I ask him. I'll ask him for you. 
out. There's a vampire called James. He likes them. Oh, I said, I'm gonna kill Cloud the feckin' Bayo ear machine. <laughs> uh, Cloud has some deep issues for him, man. Last thing he's gonna go, we'll go. Alright, can I hide for us? I wonder if they get any. Dodge material. Okay. When you buy the second part of the game, will it have to install like a completely new game or what? Well, that's a good question, actually. Um, I don't know. Um, this this uh, this version, this game, comes with two discs. One is called a data disc, and the other is called a play disc. So. Maybe once you install the data disk, then you can put in like play disk for this version and the play disk for the next version, and then just I don't know, maybe just load up automatically. Uh, I'm guessing though that you probably will have to, you probably will have to. But um, what I can't understand is, wouldn't it have made a lot more sense? And I want everyone's opinion on this. Wouldn't it have made a lot more sense? If it's had the just... same with Red Dead 2, there's two discs. Yeah, but at least Red Dead Redemption 2 was a brand new game. Never been released before. Uh, not a remake. That makes sense. You, and, and, and at least you get the whole Red Dead Redemption 2 experience. But you no, know, the, the reason there's two discs in Final Fantasy VII Remake is because one of them is only a data disc. That's it. It's just you install the data on one disc and then you put in the play disc to play it again. But the, what I wanted to say is, wouldn't it have made a lot more sense if Square Enix had just waited until PS5? Because PS5 has a lot more specs, a lot more memory. It's a prequel, I think. Well, sorry, it's, yeah, it's, it is a prequel, you're right. But my point is, Red Dead Redemption 2, um, you get the whole package, you pay your price, you get Red Dead Redemption 2, you know. Um, with... Sorry, I'm... I'm gone off track what am I saying so I think that they should have Square Enix should have waited until PS5 for the for the Final Fantasy 7 remake because what's going to happen when part 2 comes out I mean if it took this long to make part 1 fuck's sake I mean like are we going to be like mid PS5 life cycle and then we're going to have part 2 of Final Fantasy 7 remake on PS4 like what's going to happen it's, it's kind of it's all over the place if you ask me this whole like multiple part Final Fantasy 7 it's kind of all over the place really. But I just think it would have made a lot more sense if they had this way to the PS5 because you probably would have been able to have like so much content, um, you know, available on one disc on, on PS5. Because one of the biggest things on PS5 is you have a lot more memory, a lot more storage, a lot more content on, on one disc, and games load. Elder faster. Scrolls Six will be out by part three. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know, yeah. Jesus Christ. 
All clear. You! All clear, I don't think so. It's a bit cloudy. I think that would be skin. Elbow cough. Maybe they have it nearly ready, oh, the but they're cough. just adding the final touches. Possibly, yeah. Possibly the elbow cough can mean only one thing. Mr. Middleton has rocked and rolled his way into Green Hill. Anyway, welcome to the live stream chat. How are you keeping? How are things? Oh, I thought that was James saying Elder Scrolls 6 would be out for Cat 3. Oh, I'm going to throw a burn the hot dog. Let's get this thing. Stab him. Now man, you'll stick to my assassin creed, thank you. Now man, I'll stick to my assassin creed. <laughs> Nothing to it. I'm really getting used to the, the battle system. I mean, it's very like Final Fantasy 15, really, like once you, once you get into it. That's like all I play now. What, Assassin's Creed? Avoid the plaza, I was heading to the plaza, I'm sure. Did it go to now in Fantasy 6, then 1, 5, then 7? Did it go, um... <laughs> and yes, Assassin's Creed. Yeah, man, it's a good series. Did it go... No, um... Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, and 15. 11 and 13 are spin-offs, sorry not spin-offs, sorry they're online only, uh, they would be considered mainline games, um, 10 2 is a direct sequel to 10 and Final Fantasy 13 has multiple paths to it. There is a bit of a complicated history of Final Fantasy in the West, um, and it's a little bit confusing to be honest because I don't want to go into it really but I don't think we've had Final Fantasy over there until Final Fantasy V or something. Yeah. I'm so chad will Final Fantasy yeah. 1 Zero was the last game made by the original creator. That's why right, Chad, the original creator left for in the Final Fantasy X. Let's see this. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to activate on my material. Can I do it? Well, I'm gonna look at my What game packs on Xbox would you like to bring to PS4? Games on Xbox? None. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of, um, of uh, Microsoft IP, to be honest with you. Uh, so I think none, really. I can't think of any of the on top of my head. None. I won't give up. I mean, Microsoft are so bad with their IPs. 
can't even pull on here. Yeah. You know, any of the players that were given them away. See if you have They're actually given them away. They're given Cuphead to Nintendo. They're given um, uh, the platformer game to Nintendo. Xbox 360 was the golden year. I won't give up. And yeah, I suppose it was. I used to own one of them. I had one as well. I played my first shot on it. I played um, GTA 4 on uh, Xbox 360 and Resident Evil 5. Bring Halo. Bring Hall. Well, there is a rumor going around that uh, Halo could be coming uh, to PS4. Bring Halo to PS4. Does your sword use ammo? 
because my sword uses ammo and uh, not, not not the buster. No. Would be a feckin' shit sword. <laughs> Why would a sword have ammo? Yeah. I know that there's, there's, well, there is a the the um, gun sword in uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Are you excited? Get him! It's all I got for now. I don't know, someone on LSD might have made it. <laughs> no, but there actually, it's funny you should actually ask that, James, because there is a gun in Final Fantasy VIII that Squall um, uses. It's, it's basically a gun blade, a switch, switch blade, or what, I'm not sure, I forget what that's called. So. Decent. Yeah, it actually is to be fair. Alright, here. Get up! 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 Get up!
See that? But sorry, my computer is so to think. Um, chocobo. Oh, thank you for asking that question. I could spend the rest of the lives from talking about chocobo. Chocobos are just amazing, really, Jim. They're literally the best thing in the world. There's a cost that there's nothing better than chocobo. There's just big yellow birds that you can ride wrong. Nothing to it. And, and they make a squeaking noise. You can give it an ostrich and just spray it in the yellow. And that's exactly good. So that giant yellow birds is a sort of the side. So it works on the game and like stay at the same time and not fire them. Which doesn't help. That's what happens when you do a late night late thing. I think once I reach the next big kind of like cutscene. End of the life look! That would be the end of the night. Stop 
resisting. Longest stream since the start of the lockdown. It actually is. It has been my longest stream since the start of the, lo the lockdown. I am so tired. I'm not used to this. be honest with you. Just the, um, the improvements from PS1 to PS4. Quite uh, And the soundtrack, I love the soundtrack. It's uh, familiar and new all at the same time. But I recognize this music straight away. But it's never sound the same. Do your worst. 
It's working, it's working. You got the chance. It's a lot. You know what? Your shield is going to be useful. Steady. What the fucking grenade. You're welcome. Oh. Oh, he was like a new boss. This is Sector 8, Unit 2. Target is surrounded. Moving to secure. Wait. I know that. We all think he didn't make it. Kiss Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Mm -hmm. You think he's a keeper? Security to run around. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> hmm. Wait. Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. Just gonna briefly pause there. Um, so, once again, the team of this live stream is about from PS1 to PS4 and how Final Fantasy VII um, has improved and changed from PS1 to PS4. And it's, uh, it's definitely improved in the area in terms of, like, adding adding to the story adding to the characters and square enix like the interesting thing about a remake is you have the opportunity the developers have an opportunity to go back to the drawing board and say you know what we can um, add more to ariat's backstory you know we can add in these invisible enemies um into the story so you know, it gives the developers an opportunity to go back to the drawing board and add more to the story, um, improving the story, adding more um, depth to it. So it's uh, another example of one of the many um, improvements from, from PS1 to PS4 and how things have just changed overall from PS1 to PS4 um, in a good way. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> more like a panic-induced hallucination. Never mind. 
Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? This Lucky us. Bomb. We've Sector got a crowd to hide here. Head for the Sector front of the train and hold there. Due to an explosion at Marco Reactor 1, an emergency schedule is now in effect. Okay, so that is going to be the end of the live stream. Um, as promised, as promised, I'm going to have a recap of some of the major changes in Final Fantasy 7 from PS1 to PS4 starting with the obvious really is the visuals so um, you know visually um, Final Fantasy 7 remake on PS4 just comes to life um, it just pops out the, the, the detail on the characters and the detail on the environments um, you know the, the, the fact that they can add in more NPC um, you know characters like pedestrians and stuff like that um, so um, that's what I that's one of the first things I noticed um, that I discussed at the start of the live stream so visually massive improvements from from ps1 to ps4 with final fantasy 7 then you have the this is kind of like goes hand in hand really but the um the, the storytelling can be vastly um, improved because of um the fact that there's voice actors in the remake now so every word that comes out of the character's mouth is just you can just feel you know the passion and what they're saying the the you can feel their emotions um <laughs> i forgot what i was going to say sorry <laughs> and i'm half asleep as well um there was a there was a, there was a few things not that i said at the start of the live stream as i was as i was going through the live stream but i forgot um but th just to kind of um so yeah, the fact that there's um, there's fully fledged um, voice acting in Final Fantasy VII Remake means that the the personality of the characters and the overall storytelling um, is improved from PS1 to PS4. Um, that's all thanks to the the hardware of you know PS4. So to go from the hardware of PS1 to PS4, um, you know there's so much improvements. Because um, obviously, PS1 games, um, you know, um, don't sound and look and play as good as PS4 games. So there's a lot more you can do uh, on PS4. Uh, there was something else as well, but I forgot. But yeah, I mean, what more can I say? There's, um, there's, there's huge differences between PS1 and PS4. Uh, you know, Final Fantasy, um, the series has, has come a long way from PS1 to PS4. Uh, the game itself, Final Fantasy VII, has come a long way. It's seen animated movies. It's it's had uh, spin-offs. Um, it's had many ports, and now it has a remake. Um, and obviously, gaming in general has come a long way from PS1 to PS4. Uh, different types of people playing games now. Um, games look amazing, sound amazing. And the PlayStation brand itself, you know, has come. A massive way from PS1 to PS4 in terms of what they can do now with PlayStation hardware. Um, so yeah, so that was the theme of the live stream. Really, it was pretty much just from PS1 to PS4. The, the some of the biggest changes, some of the biggest improvements. Oh, there was a little thing as well at the start uh, of the live stream. Uh, it was the, the little kind of um, kind of God, what's the word I'm looking for? kind of like a catch-up thing like it'll tell you exactly where you are in the game this is kind of handy because if you were just kind of if you were a bit kind of disoriented you haven't played a game for a long time and like shit where am i what am i doing kind of gives you a bit of a recap on on what's happening um oh, what was the one thing i wanted to take away shit there was, there was one thing 
going to wreck my head now. No, there was one thing I wanted to take away. Because in the, my earlier live stream today, I was talking about the soundtrack. But there was something. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know, it might have been... It might have been storytelling. It might have been that. I don't know. Was it the storytelling? This is what a late night live stream that does to me. At uh, 25 minutes past one. Holy shit. Fuck. Yeah, that <laughs> doesn't really matter. Um, to cut a long story short, um, this gem, this masterpiece, this um, classic game, Final Fantasy VII, as uh, the remix soundtrack is great. That too, that too, that too. Um, that was one of the things that I, I, I noticed when I played the game earlier today was the, the remix soundtrack. Absolutely fantastic. Because um, you can instantly recognize the music. It doesn't feel different. You know when you're watching a, a movie remake or playing a video game remake, sometimes they add in like new music you know or to completely remix it to the point of it's not even recognizable like you ever go onto youtube and you type in a remix song and like you're like two minutes into it and you're like what the hell am i actually listening to this isn't the song um so great thing about the soundtrack in resident evil 7 remake is you just instantly recognize it. you know what this music is um but at the same time it's it's modern you know what i mean they've, they've they really have kind of um remastered uh, the, the audio quality in every way so it's got that nice balance i think that's the i've always said this because i've actually feel like i've played so many remakes uh in 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 the last like the last the end towards the end of last year and the start of this year uh you know like before i played this game i was playing resident evil 3 remake so i feel like i've been playing so many remakes and i feel like i've been saying this for so long but the, the perfect remake is making it feel familiar but fresh and new at the same time so you want to get the feeling of playing a brand new game but returning to an old game at the same time that's how you make a good remake and you know that obviously the soundtrack um applies as well not just the game itself but the soundtrack so yeah soundtrack was one of the things i took away from um the earlier live stream but there was something else as well that I wanted to take away in particular it's going to annoy me now so much um, I don't know I think I think it had something to do with the voice acting I think it just had something to do with the because of the voice acting the, the, the characters personalities are just so um much more kind of like um sorry I'm half asleep. <laughs> oh god. It's a great remake. <laughs> That's what I could say a short so a short story. To cut a long story short. Um 28 minutes past one. <laughs> I won't be here much longer, don't worry. I'm going to go to sleep pretty soon there now. But, um, I just want to round it off by just kind of, what the hell am I trying to say, basically? I want to put it all together. Make sense. Try to make sense of what I'm saying. Um, I love remakes. I just love remakes. I love playing remakes. I love discussing them. I love discussing the changes they've made. Um, <laughs> what the fuck was I going to say? I know it's going to wreck my head. There was something. There was something that I wanted to take away from this live stream of Final Fantasy. Because I want to do that in every live stream. I want to kind of like um, even have a team 
Well, I don't know, but I just have to just... Instead of having a team and taking away one thing from the remake, I think I'll just stick to just taking away one thing from it. Um, it's going to be hard now as the, as the gameplay goes along. Like, when I'm kind of towards the end. Lads, <laughs> my headset, my headset literally went off, as in, like, my headset's getting bored of listening to me. <laughs> it literally went off by itself. I think it does that when the hair is no audio coming through the headset. It just thinks that there's no, it thinks that the, 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 uh, the thing is inactive, or else the battery could be dead. The Witcher 3 in that hope. <laughs> the one good thing about the remake, one of the greatest things about the remake is that it isn't the Witcher 3. <laughs> Joke. Um... So, PlayStation 1, um, the PS4, that was the team. Um, you know, I think I'll just stick to team, I will stick to a team. Be, there will be a team. There will be a team in every Final Fantasy VII Remake um, live stream. So, in this team, it was from PS1 to PS4. And how Final Fantasy VII has changed from PS1 to PS4. Um, obviously one of the main areas is uh, the visuals changed dramatically uh, the soundtrack has changed but it feels familiar at the same time um, the storytelling the uh, the personalities of the characters because of the voice acting the fact that they can add in more to the game um, little things like NPC characters uh, the fact that they can add in more story elements um, as well, so you know, it's it's um it's come a long way, Final Fantasy VII from from PS1 to uh, PS4. So that's all I really wanted to say. Um, I'm loving a sofa. I'm half asleep right now, so I'm going to, I'm going to get some sleep. That's what I'm going to save my game first, actually, before I do anything. If it lets me. Right. There we go. Save manually. Save An old school save. God, it takes a while to save the game, doesn't it? There we go. Chapter 2, Faithful Encounters. Okay, so thankfully my next live stream will be lunchtime tomorrow. It'll be 1 p.m. Irish time. So I'll be a bit more awake, um, so to speak, um, compared to the end of this live stream. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the remake so far. It's great to see so many um, improvements. Uh, great to see how far the game has come from PS1 to PS4. Very impressed with the game really am looking forward to playing more of it and i hope all of you are looking forward to seeing some more of this game uh, so i want to say thank you to all who watched uh, my live stream of final fantasy 7 remake from ps1 to ps4 thank you for putting up with my rambling my my, my insomniac rambling <laughs> um appreciate the support as always and i will see you all next time on green hill gaming so I will say good night to you from Ireland and uh, I will see you on the next live stream.